So from a statement one and now. Absolute value of a minus one is less than four. So since we don't know the sign inside the absolute value, we have two different options. A minus one is less than four, or a minus one is greater than negative four. Here solving for a, a is less than 5, and here solving for a, a is greater than negative 3. Therefore, a is an integer that lies between negative 3 and 5. So, the least value that a can take is negative 2 and the greatest value that A can take is 4. If we pick negative 2, the answer for the question is yes. Is A less than 0? Yes. But if we pick 4, the answer for the question is no. Is A less than 0? No. A is positive. Therefore, a statement 1 and 0 is not sufficient to answer the question. Choice A is discarded and choice B is discarded as well. Now, from a statement 2 alone, the absolute value of a plus 1 is greater than 1. Is a statement to alone sufficient to answer the question? So, from a statement to alone, we know that the absolute value of a plus 1 is greater than 1. Since we don't know the sign inside the absolute value, we have two different options a plus 1 is greater than 1, or a plus 1 is less than negative 1. So here solving for a, a is greater than 0, and here solving for a, a is less than negative 2. So here a can be positive, and here a is negative. Therefore, we have two different answers. Sometimes a is greater than zero and sometimes a is negative. Therefore, choice, uh, therefore a statement two alone is not sufficient to answer the question. Choice B is discarded. Now we're gonna use both statements together. So from one and two, I'm going to draw a number line. Here we have 0, this is 5, here 0, here negative 2, and here negative 3. From statement 1, we know that A lies between 3, negative 3 and 5, so A is somewhere in between. And from statement 2, we know that A is greater than 0 and a is less than 2. Now, from the question steam, we know that a is an integer because they say they say here a is an integer. Therefore, there is no integer between negative 3 and negative 2. Therefore, there are no values to take between them. Our only option is here. There are many integers that lie between 0 and 5, so this one are the only values that x can take. So from statement 1 and 2, the only values that satisfy both inequalities, this one and this one, are 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, finally, the answer for the question is no. Is, is A negative? No. A is a positive integer. Both statements together are sufficient, but neither statement alone is sufficient. Choice B is discarded. Choice C is correct.